This time I got another module from IC Station. This one's a digital clock with an MP3 plus Bluetooth 50 watt amplifier attached. And what's unique about this is it sets itself through your Wi-Fi connection. Let's check this one out. I have another board to look at from IC Station. This one's the GY19622, also known as the XYW50L. And uh, I've got the specifications for this. Let's just open this up first and see what this module is all about. So it comes with some hardware, a little screwdriver, a little heat sink. It comes with a a QR code so you can get the app for this and uh, instructions you can scan for those I've got some printed instructions here and this little board here is we open it up it's still factory sealed comes in a anti-static bag and here's this little module it's complete it has a nice large LED display and an electronic control you can push and turn so it's got an encoder on the rear we've got a couple of 3.5 millimeter plugs and a USB and a power socket and outputs for speakers we'll just peel the double-sided tape the backing off the double-sided tape on the this is actually heat transfer material heat transfer adhesive and we'll just pop this down on top of this IC to provide cooling not that these things really require much in the way of cooling they don't produce much heat they are relatively efficient but we'll pop the heat sink on there anyway and now I just need to peel off the protective paper that they've put on the laser cut cover. We'll put the cover on and uh, connect it up. And we'll try this out and see how this unit sounds. Perfect little kit, you know, for, uh, for someone who's starting in electronics and is looking for something simple to build, some little simple project that they can get some satisfaction and actual use out of. Something like this would be perfect because there's no soldering required, just assemble the, uh, the parts, put the base plate on, and uh, we'll attach this with screws, even comes with a little screwdriver. Put our four standoffs on, and we can put the top board on. So those pieces go on there and then I've got the the top piece that goes on and it's got its own four screws this is a these ones use the smaller screws because this is a much thinner uh, base material should use a real screwdriver not the one that they supplied it's not holding it, it's not magnetized very well is it Here we go. That's one there. Four screws. Okay, the control knob just goes on top. And that's how it looks once once it's complete. I've, I haven't removed the, um, the plastic from the uh, display yet. Let's connect it to some speakers. Remember that the two negative wires face each other. And these this is a BTL output. So you can't uh, use a common ground wire okay just got to get power get a power socket here and they're also marked with a positive and negative and of course if they can run up to 24 volts I mean you normally can just plug any wall wart into this thing too so a 12 volt wall wart I should have one of those kicking around should do the job but if I wanted full power I could hook it up to a 24 volt supply or you can hook it up to batteries and stuff through here Right, but it comes with this plug. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to plug it into a 12 volt power supply. Okay, I have a standard 12 volt 
positive tip. It takes anywhere from 5 to 24 volts. And there is the clock. Nice blue display. To set the clock, I do have the, the instructions here. And it says it's Wi-Fi timing function supports automatic APP control. So it, in other words, you can, uh, if you've got uh, the app for it, you can uh, set the alarm from your phone. But I can do it from here. I'm sure there's buttons on the side. Let's see what the buttons do. Uh, brightness level. So brightness up and brightness down. And the next one over would probably set the bottom one. So we got that we've got an up and down control, and then the bottom one is probably the function. So let's just see here. If I press and hold. What does it do? Hours. Okay, it's a 24-hour clock. As you can see. So 10.54, oh, it's already got the right time for the minutes. And the date is, today's just 11.03 today. So it was obviously set and it's got the year 2021. There we go. And I press and hold. There we go. That's how it is, easy it is to set the clock. Just press and hold the buttons here. Um, I'm going to get that app and uh, we'll see what this thing does. Set it up over Bluetooth. If you plug in a USB stick that contains music, it will immediately start playing. And you notice if you unplug it, it'll switch back to Bluetooth mode. If you plug your USB stick in again, It'll pick up right where you left off. I'm going to download the app onto my test phone. And uh, we'll scan the QR code here, download the app onto the test phone, and um, there we go. Go to the link. And that should, uh, I guess that takes me to the link or where I can download the app. So I downloaded the APK from the uh, website. It does not require any special access, which is good. I generally don't install apps that require access to my media or photos or anything. And um, again, this is this is my garbage phone. This is not a phone that I use. It's just used for for Wi-Fi calling and for and so forth. So people can call me at that number. If I'm around, I'll answer it. It's just an old phone. It's a Wi-Fi only phone, and I don't uh, don't use it for anything else other than for for test accounts. Now that this is initializing, oh, I have to create a a password, I guess. Now let's see how I'm going to do this because it's going to ask for a phone number, and this does not have a phone number. Well, it does, but I don't know that it's going to uh, going to work, especially if it tries to send me a text message. We'll just see what happens here. Let me just find um, Canada in the list here. Should be, Canada should be in here somewhere. The USA. There we go. Canada. Okay. Mailbox. A mailbox. Do I need a mailbox? Um, yeah, I'll just use my my garbage email account again. I have I have garbage email accounts. So I'll just use my Hotmail account. Let me just enter that info so I can get my registration code for this app. Hours later, I get the app up and running. And and the reason it took so long was because I sent it to my my garbage spam email account at uh, Hotmail and uh, anyway uh, it wouldn't show up on my phone because it went to the uh, to the spam folder which doesn't show up on my phone I had a login from my desktop 
to look into the spam folder to get the security code that they sent me so I could get the app running. And of course, I've changed my password since uh, I last used it on my desktop and couldn't remember it. And had to go through a whole bunch of security procedures, getting emails sent to different accounts and text messages and all kinds of crap just so that I could access the account so I could get the uh, the app to, to register so now that I can log in and uh, hopefully I remember what password I set up on this one let's add this and it's probably gonna have me to go into uh, oops touch now I get to enter my SSID and Wi-Fi password that's for the module to set the clock start the connection Of course, I'm totally wrong here because I'm pushing the wrong button. That button is to turn the Bluetooth on and off. Okay, it says the Bluetooth is connected, so what is it doing? It's doing nothing. Okay, the mistake I was making was I was pushing the button on the top. It's actually you push the set button five times. And it has now added the device. So I think I can go back to the home page now. Back to my home page. There we go. I've got the clock. Now it has been added. That was the uh, that was what I had to do. <laughs> I'm pushing the button on top of here. I actually had to read it. It said that push the set button, and the set button is actually the uh, time set button is the one that you push five times and the light that's going to blink is the blue light in the back here will blink four times and then once you synchronize it the red light comes on as well what that's done now is that is that is generated this has got a wi-fi board on it as well as you can see here there's an antenna that has joined the the clock to my wi-fi network which is now used to set the time and everything automatically from the internet so back to the app my phone goes off goes to sleep all the time I'm here uh, let's see here my devices let's see if I can control this thing how do I control it okay hit control okay now I can select 12 or 24 hour format there I just changed it to 12 hour format and uh, time zone I gotta sync the time zone here let's okay there we go I've now synced the time zone it's now corrected the time to 12 13 it's it's uh there you go. Now dormancy, what is that? That probably turns off what does that do? I'll have to read that read about that, but oops. Don't want to modify the, the clock name. Oh that turns off the display. So now let's turn the display back on. How do I do this? Because you know it'll go into a power saving mode if you until you tap the button, but I should be able to turn that back off here. There we go. Turn that switch off, and now the clock display will always be there, and I can change the the brightness level of the clock right here. Right, dial it up, dial it down. This is where I can now. Um, set alarms and you've got six alarms that can be set so if I set it for say um, if we go to this one and I want to set the clock to just one time I want to um, set it to go at 12 say 1216 so I take it to 1216 12 Twelve sixteen. Okay. Save. At twelve sixteen, the alarm should go. You can set six alarms that can operate either once or we'll see when it goes off here.
and I don't have to obviously keep the app open. This is just to to synchronize. There you go. That stops it. We can select. We tap on here. Repeat. You can have it repeat weekly. Pick your days. And then say save. And now this alarm is set to go every day. If I want to own if it only want it to, to go off on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Click save. Now it'll say every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It will go off. And to turn it off, just tap that and that now turns the alarm off. That's how you set the alarm on here. Bluetooth, if I go to Bluetooth, it should, uh, Bluetooth is connected. Yes, it is. Okay, now it's disconnected. Let's reconnect it here. Bluetooth is connected. If I play music from the phone, it should play on the uh, the speakers. So let's just try that, which might be tough because I don't know that I've got any. Uh, I don't know if I've got any music on here, but I should be able to bring up something from YouTube and have the sound play through this amplifier instead of through the phone. I just play one of my videos, I guess. Oops, why is, oh, my battery is going down? Are you kidding? My battery's dead on the phone? You gotta be kidding me, let me just plug my phone in. Up okay. A very underrated now, amplifier from a very underrated company. These guys have been around for years, but they were never all that popular, and uh, they deserve a little more respect than a lot of people give them. So now Definitely. I'm playing my YouTube video. This is one of the more underrated amplifiers that uh, we've seen in recent years, well, in the last 40 or so years. Of course, I'm talking about an NEC Authentic Series stereo integrated amplifier. And when I say underrated, well, wait till you see inside this one. I'm doing an inspection on this one today, and I noticed there's a power meter problem on it. I don't know if we can solve so, that or not. So that's that. Uh, once you're paired for the uh, the Bluetooth, it, then anything from your phone will obviously play really through. These underrated. And we'll, we'll stop this. What I want to try is I want to try and see whether it can be set an alarm to wake up from music on a USB stick. Now, because obviously, you, I'm sure you can probably do it through your phone too, but plug in a USB stick and uh, it should start playing the music immediately, which which, which overrides the, uh, the Bluetooth. I'm just going to go into the settings here for the uh, alarm and I'm going to set an alarm and I, I'm just curious as whether it's just going to beep or whether it's going to actually play the music. We'll set it to 1228. Okay, save. Okay, I want to see what happens when the clock gets to 1228. Is it just going to beep or is it going to play the music that's on the USB stick? Let's find out. When you plug USB in, it overrides Bluetooth the same as if you plug an auxiliary input it has an auxiliary input as well and a headphone plug does you hear audio output auxiliary in USB audio but when you uh, when you plug anything into it it overrides the Bluetooth okay so it just beeps so it does not it does not it doesn't play the music until you push the button And that's how you start and stop it. Just push the button to uh, play the music from your, your USB stick. So from what I can gather from all this, the only real reason to put the app on your phone and pair it to the module is so that you can put your 2.4 gigahertz router information into the clock so that the clock will synchronize itself automatically to the correct time so you don't have to set it. 
the app is not needed to obviously to operate Bluetooth because you can just pair the Bluetooth to it in the normal fashion when you plug it in and hold down the button on top here the Bluetooth light will flash and then you will find in your in your settings under Bluetooth you will find the Bluetooth name it's Zin Yi I guess that's how it's pronounced that's the Bluetooth name once you're connected to the Bluetooth device you then can stream your music so if we're connected here anything that I play through my phone in this case I don't have any music on this one so I just go over to YouTube but anything that I play from my phone will play over Bluetooth right over here this is the one I did on the previous one for this Got a couple of little MP3 boards so, in from IC Station just to show off. It's gonna be a very, very quick video. If you if you have music on your phone or any streaming services, obviously it's going to play through here as well. Anyway, so say I set the time in correctly. Say I set it to Oops. I'll set it up to like 1941 okay which would be 741 p.m. because I've set it for for 12 12 hour but you still set it using 24 hour timing now if I unplug the power and plug it back in it will once it sinks pick the correct time you notice that the both the red and the blue light are on the back when it's powered up, it will connect to the, the network and set itself to the correct time. So you never have to worry about the clock having the wrong time. That's what uh, you need the app for. Even if you don't ever intend to use this as an alarm clock or you never intend to use it um, to play Bluetooth, if you set up the app just so that you can set the module to your uh, Wi-Fi network so that it can pick up the time the clock will always be correct I was hoping that it would interface with the music player but it doesn't it's strictly the app is strictly to set the clock and set the alarms they certainly can be done using the buttons on the side the Bluetooth feature the amplifier Bluetooth is just for playing music from USB stick auxiliary input or from your Bluetooth device anyway that's uh, this one here nice and simple thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one bye for now